guys, Marty Schindler here, and uh, today I'm going to teach you in Photoshop how to save your pictures after you created them. Hold on a second, I'm kind of, you know, trying to get over here. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was making a sandwich. You know, I've realized I say that a lot. Anyway, I'm going to teach you how to save your things that you make in here. I don't know what you make, I don't want to know what you make, but, you know, I'll teach you how to save them. So go to, uh, first, let, I'm going to create something real fast. Go to File, New, and click uh, OK. Under the drop-down list, default Photoshop size on the preset uh, drop-down list. And then, uh, if something wants to pop up, there we go. Uh, I'm going to extend this a little bit by bottom right corner and pulling the arrow out there. And uh, I'm going to double click and just make this a regular layer instead of a background layer. I'm going to grab my brush tool. Let's make something cool. Let's just get a new brush. And okay, that'll do. And let's get a cool color and make it like... Uh, that's a pretty cool color. Hey, pink's a cool color. Get off my back. I'm, I'm telling you right now. Dead serious. Slow the size actually, and uh, well, there we go. We got some really bizarre, rather. And let's include one more little thing in there. Uh, let's make it right here. Actually, jeez, there we go. Okay, so we got our local creation here. Let's go to File. Uh, then, wow, I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, <laughs> File. Then you're going to go to Save As or Shift Control S or Control S if you haven't saved it before. Okay, this will pop up, or it should pop up. If it doesn't pop up, that's your problem. If you're here, though, you're on the right track. Uh, what you want to do is go to the drop-down format list and find your correct format. Uh, PSD is a Photoshop format, which means that if you double-click it, it will save your layers in the exact same order, and everything's fine. Uh, if you don't want that, which you probably don't usually, unless you want to re-edit this, uh, you want it in a format shareable on the internet, which would be a, bump, a bitmap, a BMP, a JPEG, uh, what else? A PNG, obviously, uh, a CompuServe GIF or GIF, whatever you want to pronounce it as. And uh, those are the most common ones right there. Other ones such as uh, PXR and TIFF are less common, but uh, there are ways to get them up on the internet. And EPS, too. Anyway, we're going to save this as a PNG, a very popular new, uh, or relatively new, uh, format to save things in. Then if you go to File Name, you can type in, uh, you know, whatever you want. Okay, and then it'll say Save as a Copy, or Not as a Copy. Uh, and then down here, if you have that checked, it'll say File Must Be Saved as a Copy with this selection. Uh, so, if we just do this right now, uh, and we don't do it as a copy, uh, we can just save it. Then this will pop up, interlace or none. It's really up to you. I'm just going to do none at the moment. And lo and behold, if we minimize Photoshop, that is if Photoshop doesn't freeze on me. Our photo is right here. It says whatever you want. That's what it's called. If we double click it, then this will pop up. We got our photo out here, and you're good. Uh, you can also save it in a bunch of other ways. Remember, Shift Control S, and we can do it again as a JPEG this time. And uh, we have to save it as a copy this time. Uh, sometimes it'll make you, and then uh, you're okay. We're going to make it a larger file size so it looks better. Then we're going to save it one more time as a GIF. That's what I call it, that is right there. We're going to save it one more time, and OK, and OK. You usually just click OKs unless you know what you're doing. That's kind of my philosophy there. And then we have uh, these three different pictures. Now, if I click on this one, this was the, oh, let me try that again. This is the JPEG one. This is the GIF one. This is the PNG one. So not many... Uh, differences between these. There are a couple differences, but you might want to do a side-by-side side -side comparison later and see which ones you like best. I recommend PNG 
uh, for everything. JPEG for photos and GIF for GIF for um, logos or things with less colors in them. So let me delete that there. Hope you guys learned how to export your files there, and then you would go to obviously your internet and go to a site such as Photo Bucket, Image Shack, uh, any of those. Make an account, or sometimes you don't have to, and then upload the image, and uh, that's it. So hope you guys learned something today. Um, that's about all I have to teach. I have a couple more tutorials coming up on uh, everything you really can imagine. So. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys learned something today. Now, um, I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back. My God, is this thing still...